What's up you guys? Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with another figure review. And today we're taking a little break from Origins and we're kind of skipping over to Classics for a minute. And we are going to be taking a look at the Classics Skeletor. Skeletor is my favorite character, so this is one figure that I had to have. Uh, was kind of expensive, but I still was happy with the price that I paid. And really just happy to have him in the collection. He's a great looking Skeletor figure. <clears throat> and let's just dive right on into this classic Skeletor with paint applications. Paint applications for Skeletor here. For his skin, you have that light blue. Looks really good. For his armor pieces and everything, you have a very dark purple. Kind of almost like a pinkish purple here for the gem that's in the center there very nice like gloss over it as well then of course you got your blacks you know for the face you have those very nice greens and yellows and then of course the red eyes in there look really good toes have a much darker blue for the paint apps and then of course his armor around his shin his shin guards here are very nice dark purple very nice paint applications all the way around for this guy. Just looks really, really, really good. I really do like the Classics figures. They look great. <clears throat> Moving on to detail. Again, Masters of the Universe, you have those very muscular bodies. So Skeletor is ripped all the way around from his pecs down to his legs and his, you know, um, calves right? That's what those are, calves? Man. Oh, come on, I went to school. <laughs> um, very nice detail here on his forearms here. Not even armor pieces. Those are almost basically like parts of his skin. So that's kind of a neat detail in there. Look really, really cool. Again, you have the, the crossbones here with all the studs and everything and his armor and his loincloth pieces. You have that bat dragon looking design here on his chest piece of course again you have all the studs and the flaps here for the shoulder armor you got all the wrinkles and everything in his hood looks really nice very nice skull face all the teeth there nicely etched into the sculpt just looks great just very very nice detail all the way around with this guy got those three toes looks really nice the shin guards look really nice fingers hands all look really really good really good detail for this guy moving on to articulation classics definitely has a lot more articulation than origins and stuff like that so starting off you have the head here he can look up he can look down ever so far you know, you can get some tilt out of it. He can look left and right. Of course, that can go all the way around. His arms can kick outwards. They can kick downwards. And, of course, they can kick forwards and backwards. And like you've seen, it's a very loose joint on mine. But the bicep does have a swivel. So you can rotate that around. He has joint at the elbow. By the time Classics was around, they didn't have double joints yet, so he just has a single joint for the elbow, but it still works. And then his wrist is just on a cut, so no no like hinge or anything, it literally just rotates around. He does have an ab crunch in there, as you can see, so you do get some nice movement there out of the ab crunch. And then of course he has that waist joint for his legs. At the hips, they can kick forward, they can kick backward, but they are kind of hindered by his loincloth. He can do the, I won't call them the He-Man splits this time, I'll just call them the Eternia splits, but he can't really get a full split, but, you know, they can go out that far. And then, of course, they swivel there at the thigh, so you do get a nice, you can even see it right there where the cut is. So you do get a nice, come on camera, there it goes, focus. Nice swivel right in there. Again, knees, single joint, but you do get a nice bend out of them. And then they straighten out. 
No boot cut or armor cut down here, but on his feet, they are on a hinge, so they can tilt down ever so much. They can tilt up ever so much. And then, of course, you do get a little bit of a pivot movement out of them, but not much. So that does it for articulation, uh, detail, paint. He doesn't necessarily like to stand all that well. I really have to work with him to get him to stand. So, mm, there. <laughs> For his accessories, of course, he comes with his trademark Havoc Staff. I really do like the mold for this Havoc Staff. Looks very, very cool. Got the Ram Skull in there with the teeth. All the lines and everything on the horns look really good. Let me just get him out of frame. That way we can really focus on this. If my camera wants to. There it goes. Just really nice. Very nice uh, paint job on the Havoc Staff too. It's just that same dark purple. But looks really good detail and paint wise. Man, my camera is just really having a hard time focusing. But it's probably just because of what the piece is. It's kind of hard to focus on it because it's kind of not small but you know what I mean it's it's thin and then of course he comes with a power sword and it's not a half power sword it's a whole power sword but it has that same you know purple color a little bit more lighter purple for the blade as you can see and it, it even has kind of a shine to it it's not really a matte mine has a little bit of a bend in it uh, I've tried to straighten that out but it just ends up bending back but the way I have him posed, I just have him holding the Havoc Staff. I have the sword, which fits in the sheath on his back there. But you can have him holding the sword and the Havoc Staff if you want. Um, but uh, the, the, the Power Sword looks really nice. But again, I just have it sheathed in there. And then I just have him posed with the Havoc Staff. Like so. Set that in his hand. And then I kind of put this one here. Move that down a little bit. And then I, now i got to work with him fully to get him in the pose that I had him in. Kind of turn the Havoc staff there to where the Ram Skull fits nice. And again, if you've seen my collection video, you kind of see how... Let's turn that just a Bit. See, I'm very particular the way I pose things. Like, it has to be the right angle, the right tilt. And then there we go. Not perfect, but that's pretty close to what I have him posed as with the Havoc Staff. And then again, I keep the, sh the sword in the sheath. And um, that about does it, you guys, for this figure review on the classic Skeletor. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Like always, we are Godzilla Fan Freaks. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, I'm not going to do scaling. Again, I, I'm not going to do scaling with the Masters of the Universe figures. I'll do comparisons with certain ones, but that was like pretty much just the Panthor one is really the only thing I'm doing a comparison with. So anyway... So, uh, pretty much skipping scaling with this guy. But, I mean, he is kind of in that 6-inch scale, you know, maybe a little over 6 inches. So, he'll fit in well with he'll fit in well with the Revelation figures. Um, you know, he'll fit in well with other classic figures, of course. I think he'll even fit in well with, like, the 2000X series figures, if anybody comes across any of those or you have them. So, yeah. Anyway, you guys. Now I can do my outro. Like always, we are Godzilla Fan Freaks. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Go check out Godzilla Fan Freaks on Facebook and Instagram. Give me likes and follows there. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm doing Kaiju Chill O'Clock every week on Thursdays or Fridays. And I'll, us and I'll usually post on Mondays. Not usually. I will post on Mondays. What day what exact day Kaiju Chill O'Clock is going to be and what time I'm going to start. And I start doing Kaiju Chill O'Clock live on YouTube and then I move to Facebook Live and then I do Instagram Live. And I do them separately because, you know, 
just to, you know, try to get people more engaged. That way it's just not the same video connected through all the different platforms. It's, it's going to be different, you know? So it's like, you might catch something different on the Facebook one. You might catch something different on the Instagram one or the YouTube, whichever one you decide to tune into, it's always worth to be there. And, uh, you know, cause I, you know, whether you will have a question, you want a personal tour, you want to look at a figure more closely, you want to know a bit more about it. Um, Kaiju Chill O'Clock is anything. I could be listening to music, reacting and watching a movie, um, you know, answering your guys' questions that that's what it's all about. So come chill with me on Kaiju Chill O'Clock every week and be on the lookout on Mondays for when I post what day it's going to be either a Thursday or a Friday, and then you'll know what time. And hope to see you there. Hope to see you chime in. And yeah, so anyway, guys, we are Godzilla Fan Freaks. Hope you enjoyed my review on the classics Skeletor figure. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.